Well, plenty of May Gray out there behind, Rick, even at that fun event. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. we've seen it at the coast all May, and we know it happens, but it just feels like even the sun won't poke in for just like poke out just for a couple minutes. No, couple. you know, and uh, we've seen the that marine layer uh, in the yeah. morning, but yes, even into the afternoon, we're still seeing those gray skies. Unfortunately for coastal areas, that trend does continue as we head into the new work week. For some of our inland spots, yes, uh, we have seen some sunshine. In fact, temperatures uh, climbing into the 80s uh, still at this hour. Um, 83 in Van Nuys, as well as Ontario. We have Lancaster sitting at 89 degrees. It's a little windy out there. West winds at 20 miles per hour. So just kind of depends on where you live. But of course, uh, the big story weather wise is uh, the showers, the rain, uh, the thunderstorm activity that we've been experiencing, particularly for our mountains and deserts. So you can still see at this hour, this has been hours now since the afternoon that we have been seeing this wet weather, that monsoonal moisture moving in across our region as we saw yesterday. And as we take a closer look, uh, you can see some of those heavier downpours out through parts of the Antelope Valley near Lake Los Angeles, moving down into Hesperia, Baldy Mesa, and as we head down into Lake Arrowhead, Running Springs, that area has started to clear out. But Big Bear Lake still seeing a little bit of light rain moving in. And as we head to 29 Palms, so that is actually one of the areas, this is in San Bernardino County, where we do have a flood advisory in place, and this is going to continue until 8.15 tonight because we have seen some very heavy downpours up for that area. As we take a bit of a wider look, you'll notice that really a lot of the west is being impacted by this monsoonal moisture. So how long will this trend last? As we head into tomorrow, potentially we could see a few more showers and thunderstorms, although really this weekend was kind of the brunt of it. But by early afternoon, we could see a few showers starting to move in to the mountains and deserts. And even into Tuesday, not ruling out the chances, but really decreasing chances as we head especially into the middle and the end of the week. So a drier weather pattern is finally on the way. As we take a look at temperatures for tomorrow, it is going to be cool again along the coast, but inland spots, uh, we're looking at some 70s and 80s, uh, mid 80s for Santa Clarita, into Riverside and Hemet, and still triple digit heat for Palm Springs. The seven day forecast showing us as we head closer to the coast, still those gray skies, numbers uh, below average really for most of us, and still cool as we head into next weekend. That's going to be your Memorial Day weekend with numbers uh, going from the 80s in the IE down into the 70s by next weekend. For the beaches, yes, those gray skies, numbers in the 60s, high desert temperatures drop for you as well, back into the 70s by Thursday. And for the mountains, we're looking at 60s over the next seven days. I'll send it back to you guys. CBS2 is now CBS Los Angeles. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.